Hey y'all, and thank you for tuning into 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading, so let's hop straight into it, okay? So y'all, the whole weekend I kept hearing this song, Don't Miss This Jet, oh, Don't Miss This Jet, Jet Life to the Next Life, Jet Life to the Next Life. And I'm like, what is this? I'm talking about, y'all know I get messages through music okay but it, it's called don't miss this jet and it's by currency okay and y'all know in currency name it's a money sign so it further let me know whoever this is watching me right now y'all in this high of life energy okay I, child i split the dick in three of cups I split the dick and it got three of clubs. Three, I said clubs. What the? <laughs> three of cups. It's abundance. Three of cups, abundance. Okay. It says you feel energized and in high spirits. Okay. That's the energy y'all in. My all picking up on this energy all weekend. I'm talking about a whole vibe. Whoever listening to me, I'm talking about you a whole vibe. It's like you high off life right now. It's like everything going good. Everything on the up and up for you, for real. It got, you feel energized and in high spirit, strong friendships, and very important, are very important at this time. It says strong sense of community. It says team spirit at work and in uh, leisure activities, popularity, invitations to social events. I'm telling you, it's like at this current time, like you popping out, man. It ain't no more hermit mode. Like you popping out. Yeah, shit turned around for you. I kept hearing that song, Don't Miss This Jet. Don't Miss This Jet. Man, Jet Life to the Next Life. Don't miss this jet. I was like, what in the world? I was like, okay. I'm talking about, I'm feeling y'all energy like strong, strong. And then y'all look, I was getting ready to go to sleep last night. And you know how when people have like large amount of money, they have like the, the, money counter I kept seeing it I kept seeing somebody count a whole lot of money on it and whatever and I was like damn somebody finna come into a whole lot of money or you already at this point right now like I kept seeing it and then remember in my readings I kept seeing like somebody starting a business or they done already started a business stuff could have started off a little slow but y'all I seen somebody with a whole bunch of like packages like to be shipped out or something i'm man i don't know it's like whatever this is y'all got going on like it's like bringing y'all in a whole lot of abundance and like wealth i'm telling you for this to i keep seeing dollar signs i keep seeing a large like a large sum of money okay i see somebody i'm telling you they count their money in that scale, that little money scale or whatever it is, y'all. I'm talking about it's a whole lot of money. Then I heard that song. It's a whole lot of money in this motherfucker. Y'all, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. Like I kept picking up on this energy the whole weekend. I couldn't wait to do this reading because I'm like, damn. I was like, who is this? Okay, collective. Y'all doing it big. Y'all came into some type of money or like whatever kind of business or whatever it is you do for work. It's like bringing you in a whole lot of success and money. I'm telling you because I keep picking up on it. Like y'all could have had a little down season, but this is your time to shine. I'm telling you, I, I'm picking up on it. I'm picking up heaven on it. Ten of Pentacles, child. Ten of Pentacles. It says inheritance. Or a gift of money. I'm telling. I can't make this up. I know what I be feeling, y'all. I know what I be feeling. I know what I be feeling the whole weekend. I kept picking up on this, man. Y'all in high spirits right now. Because shit going good for y'all in y'all life. Like stuff turning around. Especially financially. Like y'all mindset. Like I'm t I feel like y'all had to cut motherfuckers off. Like y'all had to cut people off. 
whole mindsets off and y'all got focused. It's like y'all start grinding. And it's like, man, y'all in this high spirit, I'm telling you, like your money is like stuff just turned around like, phew, like fast. Like once you got focused. And I keep hearing that song, Don't Miss This Jet. Child, and then you got people heavily burdened because you in this nine of pentacles energy. Like your money good. You hear me? Like shit really turning around in your life. And you got people, you got some people that's burdened by the good things going on in your life. It's like some people real deal like could have been wishing on your downfall or some shit like that with this ten of wands. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got people, some people, like, mad that stuff going good for you right now. Like, that's some sad-ass shit for me, though. Because why is you hating on somebody come up? Why is you hating that somebody doing good and they turned their life around? They money looking good and everything good and, and success coming their way. Why? You got somebody, I'm telling you, that wanted you to stay down, didn't want you to get up, didn't want you to shine. It's like it's making a person, a particular person or some people mad. I'm telling you because I keep picking up somebody feeling burdened. Y'all could be sexy than a motherfucker too. Ooh. Ooh. Because, <laughs> yeah, y'all walked away. I'm telling y'all walked away from so many people. You cut so many people off, but I, the people you cut off was meant to be cut off. Because some people can't go where God taking you, and I'm telling you, like where God taking you, them people couldn't they couldn't celebrate with you. You had some frenemies, even family members. Some of them can't even go where God taking you. You know what I'm saying? Just think about it. Before you cut these people off, stuff was stagnant in your life. And it's like the moment you cut these people off for an old mindset or whatever it is that you cut off. Stuff just starts skyrocketing. And you notice that your life started turning around. Your mood was better. You could think clearly. You didn't have clouded judgment. You were more motivated. You was more determined. You know what I'm saying? You had people literally in your life that was like wishing on your downfall. You know what I'm saying? Because people can see things in you sometimes that you can't even see in yourself and you purposely had people trying to keep you down because they didn't want that light within you to shine bro and that shit's sad as fuck but you shine in any damn way and like you got somebody heavily burdened because you doing good and man stuff happening in your life it's like stuff turning around in your life fast you hear me and you could have had a time where you were struggling for a while but it ain't no more it ain't no more struggling it ain't no more struggling. Everything is on the up and up. You hear me? Everything is on the up and up. And you, and yeah, something could have been coming in a little slow at, at one point. But now, child, it's coming in fast. Everything you want coming in. But I feel like you had to get balanced with this chair. You had to get balanced. You had to get in alignment for what this is that came to you or coming towards you for the ones you know that you feel you know how you had it feeling like damn like god i feel it i don't see it yet but i feel it and i know it's coming for the ones that's in this energy you had to get into alignment for god to give you what this is that you're feeling you already got it in the spiritual but it's getting ready to present itself in the physical because it's coming for the for those of you where you already see what i'm talking about right here you had to get into alignment for what you got right now for what you just got you had to get your mind together you know what i'm saying your mind body and soul you have to get everything in alignment for this but spirit is saying Make sure that you use your discernment when, you, when you're letting new people in your life because people can be opportunists. People can try to use you. You know what I'm saying? Don't let that good heart cause you to let people in that's opportunists and users because quick as you get whatever this is, people will come in and try to take whatever this is. Okay? Like, uh-uh. So spirit is saying be mindful. Of, yeah, but you the high priestess. You the high priestess. I feel like everything you've been in been through in your life has gotten you prepared for this moment. It's showing you the high priestess. So you're using your discernment now. 
you know how to peep a, a fake ass phony ass motherfucker from a mile away so spirit is saying use use them gifts that you got okay don't don't let nobody in your life that's gonna try to bring you down because you definitely gonna have people trying to hold on to your energy because you doing good now and stuff going good for you but always remember that when you was down remember how people treated treated you remember how people shitting on you remember how people felt like you weren't good enough or you weren't gonna amount to nothing them same type of people gonna try to come back around so there might be a test for you you know what i'm saying you can forgive people you can forgive people but that don't mean you gotta fuck with them no more Okay, so be mindful for other people that's going to try to start coming around now that you're elevating and things turning around in your life. Because where were they when you just needed somebody to talk to? Where were they when you had this, whatever this is, bringing you in money when you had this idea and they ain't even want to listen to it? You know what I'm saying? So just make sure you be mindful for these people. You can always forgive people, but you ain't got to accept them back in your life. You hear me? Keep going up. Tell them motherfuckers, don't miss this jet. Ho. <laughs> okay, jet life to the next life. Jet life to the next life. I keep hearing that. <laughs> yeah, because, baby, you manifested this shit. You hear me? You manifested this shit. And, like, whatever it is that you've been working on, I'm telling you, child. Oh, you could have been doing vision boards. You could have been doing manifestation techniques. You could have just been praying to God. Like, I'm telling you, and it worked because you and this abundant ass energy and stuff is working out. And I'm telling you, you got people mad and jealous and hating on this. You hear me? But tell them to stay mad. You hear me? <laughs> yeah, because you and this Queen of Pentacles energy right here. You hear me? It's like even though stuff going good in your life, you still humbling down to earth. It's like you ain't going to let money or success or none of that change who you are. Because I feel like you're genuinely a kind-hearted, nurturing, loving person. And it's like money ain't going to change you. Fame ain't going to change you. You still going to be who you are. You know what I'm saying? And that's why God giving you what this is. Because they know you're going to do right by these blessings. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I it keeps. Let's keep sticking out on my Queen of Pentacles card. It says, help others in need. Some of you all might do something that involves helping others. Like, maybe your business may uh, involve helping people. Okay? Yeah. It says, sympathetic to social and political issues. So, some of you all definitely could be... Like helping others in need and stuff like that in some way. You could be, you could even be a social worker. Even if you don't have your own business, maybe you could do some type of social work. Even if you work for somebody else, whatever this is, is bringing you in a whole lot of abundance, recognition, okay, for whatever this is. You know what I'm saying? And then, y'all, I got my, my, music playing and i didn't even realize that in the background the song green light was on y'all somebody is wanting you to give them some type of sign to come on in towards you okay like somebody seeing you in this like abundant ass energy and like somebody like give me that green light yeah, because see, somebody want with this Ace of Cups, you already getting a new beginning in your finances and your career and all that, but somebody want a, a loving relationship with you, Chad. Yeah, it says love and family, joy, inner peace, the beginning of a great love. Somebody, Chad, somebody want to do life with you. Yeah, somebody see y'all doing something major together is what I'm getting. But I feel like y'all so focused on y'all money and y'all finances and y'all business or whatever this is y'all doing. Y'all so focused on that. It's like you could come off as this queen of swords. You know what I'm saying? You could come off like your heart guarded or you closed off or you don't really want to be fucked with right now. But it's like you're open to love. It's just like you trying to make sure you straight though. If you got kids, you're trying to make sure you and your kids straight, your family, 
If you ain't got kids, you're just trying to make sure you straight. You know what I'm saying? Especially financially. Because money give you freedom. It does. I don't care what nobody say. Money give you freedom. Like, and I've never been a materialistic person at all. But the only reason why I would focus on money so strongly and so heavy is because of the freedom. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had my baby young, and, like, I always had to try to find people to keep my kids and, like, miss out on certain things, couldn't have fun, couldn't travel, couldn't do that. And, like, when you're so financially stable, you have freedom. You can move how you want to. You know what I'm saying? It ain't shit for you to pay nobody to keep your child or you go do something when it's regarding your business or whatever, and you ain't got to worry about, like, dang, where my kids going to go. Or I can't do this because I got to take my kids with me. Or I don't got nobody to get them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like in this point in your life, man, whatever this is that you have came into or you're coming into, it's going to give you that freedom to be able to move how you want to move. You ain't going to be, you know, having to be stuck not knowing how you're gonna do something you know what i'm saying okay so the next message i got for y'all be careful of people trying to purposely provoke you and get you out of character and get you off of your goal or get you off of what you focused on you got somebody that's purposely trying to provoke you or get you out of character or get you off track her once you start seeing the signs that somebody is intentionally trying to get you off track or throw you off cut them motherfuckers off you hear me cut them off because i kept getting that strongly that some this even if y'all like i said even if y'all work for somebody somebody is at work and they got somebody that's trying to purposely provoke them in some way do not do not do not act out. You hear me? I don't give a fuck if you got to bite a hole in your inner lip. You hold whatever it is. Somebody, I'm telling you, trying to sabotage you. Somebody is purposely trying to get you to act out to fuck you off. You hear me? This for somebody. And I need you to hold in what you, if you want to blow up, I'm telling you, you better bite a hole in that inner lip. Hold it in because somebody is doing this to you purposely. It's some type of spiritual attack it's like somebody don't like your shine or your glow and it's like they trying to do something that get you off you know what i'm saying don't let them do that to you walk away this is a warning walk away because somebody purposely trying to do this to you if this is outside of somebody job it's still the same, like if this your business or if this you, you know, you turning your life around, your money good, or you working on a business or whatever this is, or you know what I'm saying, you're high vibrational, you know what I'm saying, you're not in this low vibrational energy. Somebody is trying to purposely provoke you to get you in a low vibration, to get you to try to act like a karmic. Do not, do not, do not, do not, do not, and I'm telling you, do not give in to whatever this is going on i'm telling you do not block block i don't give a fuck what they talking about i don't care if they say your mama ugly oh okay then block do not argue with nobody you hear me this is a warning for you you keep focusing on what you need to focus in focus on do not give in to what i'm telling you right now because they purposely doing this to you it's some type of spiritual attack to get you off track. Do not. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what nobody do. If they ain't put their hands on you, then let it let it blow over because somebody is intentionally doing this to you. I'm telling somebody sending you something your way that's trying to get you off track. You hear me? Just a warning. I'm telling you now. Listen to me. If this on social media, block. If this at your job, block this shit out. You hear me? You hold it. Walk off if you got to. If you need to say, hey, I need to go outside for a minute or whatever it is, do that. Because somebody, I'm telling you, trying to mess you up. Stay in this high vibrational energy by any means. 
by any means do not let nobody throw you off and get you off track of somebody trying to do that to you you hear me i keep getting that and spirit is needing you to listen to me on that don't be like no that motherfucker got me fucked up and don't do that because that's what they want that is what they want you to do you hear me Somebody trying to purpose to make you mad or get you off track or or have you out of character. Be like, oh, I'm finna go work on my business. Oh, put that into put that anger and aggression into your passion. You hear me? Don't put that anger and aggression into the motherfuckers that's trying to bring you down. You hear me? Don't give them no energy. Don't give them no motherfucking gas to keep going. Kill they motherfucking ass. Dry they ass out. Don't get them no damn energy. You hear me? None. Don't get them none of your high vibrational energy. None of it. You focus on what you need to focus on. And you keep your eyes on the prize. Don't let nobody bring you down in this moment. It's showing where you high spirited. You high vibrational. Stuff is going good for you in your life. And people are mad. And they'll do anything to see you sad, depressed, down. Whatever this is. Don't let them do that to you. You hear me? Make them even madder. Ignore their ass. Make them even madder. And boss up on them. You hear me? That's going to make them even madder. Because what it's going to do when you go off on them. You ain't going to be doing nothing but get your blood pressure up. It ain't going to do nothing for you. But it's going to do everything for them. Because you're going to get them what they want. So don't do that. I'm telling you, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm telling you. Starve they ass. Don't get them no attention. Keep bossing up. Keep winning. Keep staying in this high vibrational energy. Keep laughing. Keep smiling. Keep going up. Because that's going to make them matter. That's going to make them mad. You hear me? Somebody needed to hear that today. Because what I'm seeing, y'all just came into a whole bunch of money and abundance. So you're getting ready to. And people are watching you and they seeing it. And I'm telling you, they're going to try to do everything. You're going to start getting some type of attacks where people are going to be trying to get you down and throw you off course. Don't let them do it to you. Pay attention. Use your discernment. Use them gifts God gave you. It's showing you the high priestess. You know what I'm saying? If you don't trust your intuition, go to a trusted source, a, a trusted tarot reader, advisor, or whatever, and and uh, or or God. Okay. Shoot. Pay attention. Don't just let just know anybody in your life, because I'm telling you, with you, the the rate that you're going. The way things turning around in your life, you're going to have people coming in your life, I'm telling you, from the past that's going to be trying to come in as an opportunist. You're going to have new people trying to come in to alpha clout. Like they, you know what I'm saying? Because they mess with you. Like, no, uh uh. Mm mm. Mm -mm. Be careful of who you let in your life new and be careful who come back from the past. Spirit said that's the truth. But it is showing that you do have a lover, a lover coming in, okay? But spirit is saying still use your discernment though, okay? Because you know how it is. False people are coming in all the time. So just make sure you use your discernment. Whenever this lover or whoever this is come in and make sure this person really have good intentions and they trying to, you know what I'm saying? They gonna love you correctly. And they ain't just no opportunist or trying to get some type of clout off of whatever this is that you got or you getting, you know? Yeah, the world. It says you will enter a period of great happiness and positive events. The pieces fall into place. Goals are achieved. Unexpected sum of money comes your way. Travel or vacation. Possible change of residence or job. Sense of fulfillment. An inner peace from helping the less fortunate. Whatever you give will be turned to you many times over. This y'all. This is this damn energy you're in. What it say? Goals are achieved. Period. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. I love this. Now, this is the type of energy that I like. You hear me? I like positive energy like this. 
I like it. Yeah. A lot of people right now seeing you is wish fulfillment. You a lot of people right now wish fulfillment. Yeah. And oh my God, goals are achieved, y'all. The card that I just had, had goals are achieved. What I tell y'all? Y'all are not playing in this season. Y'all ain't playing with nobody in this season. This is your season right here to shine. I'm telling you now. That's all you focused on. Your goals, I'm telling you. It says dreams come true. It says take time to enjoy your success and revel in its rewards. Yeah. It says material possessions are obtained. Period. And and it's because you healed. You healed yourself. You hear me? You're in this healing, high vibrational ass energy and people loving that shit. You hear me? People can't keep their eyes off you. And you got somebody burdened. Or some people burdened, child. They like, how in the fuck? What in the fuck? Because I thought they would have stayed down. Hell no. You thought wrong, motherfucker. You thought wrong. I'm telling you. I don't know who this person or who these people are in your life, but they thought you was going to stay down. They thought you they thought you was going to be the one heavily burdened. But no. Now they mad at your come up and your success and stuff that's going good in your life. You hear me? Because, see, you start putting everything that you was trying to get to others into yourself. If you was overly loving, overly giving, you stop that shit. You was like, oh, no. Ain't nobody trying to pour in me, so I'm going to pour in myself. And that's what you did. You start giving to yourself. And you see how that's working out? Keep doing it. Keep pointing to yourself. You hear me? Yeah, the star. Because you're the star. You're the star. You realize that you were the star. You realized your worth. You realized your worth, baby. And you the star. You could have had times where you could you could have thought that you weren't good enough for certain people or a certain person. But you was the star the whole time. You had to step into your power and realize your worth. And that's who you are. You're this high vibrational being, baby, and you're beautiful. You hear me? And you are. Now you know your worth. You knowing your worth, attracting in so much stuff. You hear me? People are obsessing over you. You got so many people that want to be with you right now. Because of this energy that you're in, I'm telling you, I can't make it up. Because of this energy that you're in, this healing, high vibrational energy, you got the star and the ace of wands. You got people wanting a new passion to begin with you. Then you sexy too. Ooh. You sexy too. You smart. You business minded. Oh. And you independent. Oh. You ain't with no drama either. Oh, yeah. Ooh, they want you. Okay. Baby, you got multiple people wanting you. You hear me? You do. Just use your discernment. Just use your discernment. Yeah. Spirit said, didn't I tell you I got you? Didn't I tell you I got you? See, y'all had to cut people out. That no longer serve you. Some of y'all even had to relocate. To get away from certain people. To grow. Because the people that you was around was keeping you stuck. They wanted to keep you stuck. Because they didn't want to see you elevate. You know how they say. People don't be wanting to see you do better than them. I can't hang around people like that. You want to try to keep me down. You want to try to keep me stuck because you don't want to see me blossom. You don't want to see me grow and elevate. You don't want to potentially see me be better than you. When nobody's supposed to be out here thinking that they better than the next person. I don't think I'm better than nobody. I ain't trying to be out here being better than nobody. I'm just trying to do me and make sure I'm better than who I used to be. 
I want to be better than who I used to be. If I'm going to be thinking that way. But you can have people around you that purposely try to keep you down because they like, damn, if this person see they worth or they see they true value, then they going to become this big star. They going to be this. They going to be that. And I can't let them do that. I can't let them outshine me and outgrow me. What? So spirit like, oh, yeah, no, nah, we got to get you away from these motherfuckers. Okay. They had to get you away from them fake ass folks. You hear me? soon as you got away from them people you start to elevate notice notice how stuff in your life change when you get away from certain things and people pay attention whoever i'm talking to you know what i'm talking about you had to literally pack up and leave from your hometown or you had to relocate somewhere in your city or you had to get away from some people family friends because people was holding you back because they didn't want you to be better than them they didn't want you to grow they didn't want your light to shine they didn't want people to see the star in you they didn't want you to get noticed they didn't want you to grow i'm telling you become big they ain't want that but god made you the star anyway you know what i'm saying you was always a star even before you even realized that you was, you just had to see your worth. You had to see your worth. You had to see the star quality inside of you. You know what I'm saying? But now you see it. And with this Ace of Cups, you got new beginnings. And this in career and this in love. You know what I'm saying? But... That is all I have for you all. I hope this resonated in some way. And I hope that this have gave you all some type of clarity. Keep on going up. Keep elevating. Okay. Keep climbing up that ladder. I am so, whoever this is, I am so proud of you. I am, I am very proud of you. Whoever this is listening to me. Because things have turned around in your life. Or things are getting ready to turn around in your life. I'm telling you. And I am proud of you. Keep putting the work into yourself. Okay, because every day we can always grow. No matter how much you feel like you have grown, you can grow some more. So keep loving yourself and keep growing. Keep elevating. Bye, y'all.